heavy. This is the Xiaomi Roborock S50, the biggest, most powerful, and most expensive robot vacuum in Xiaomi's range, at just under $400. Now, a couple of months back, I took a look at the Xiaomi Xiaowa, which is the little brother to this model, and I was pretty impressed by that. But what does the Roborock S50 bring to the table that the smaller Xiaowa doesn't? What justifies the extra cost? I'm James Bruce, you're watching MakeUseOf.com Reviews, and let's take a look at the Xiaomi Roborock S50 and whether it's worth your hard-earned $400. So firstly, let's go to the most obvious answer that this is the most powerful robot vacuum I've seen yet at 2000 PA suction power, making it great for carpets. Now, to be clear, this still doesn't compare to your standard upright vacuum, but of all the robot vacuums, it is certainly one of the most, if not the most powerful at this budget. Most robot vacuums that you find will be around the 1200, 1600 mark at the maximum, but this is 2000. So if you do have carpets, you'll want to use this and you'll want to turn on carpet detection, which is how you activate maximum power mode. However, if you're not gonna use it on carpets, you don't really need that much power. You won't need to activate maximum power all the time. You can get a little more battery life out of it. However, the most significant upgrade on this model is this curious cylinder on top, which you can just about see there. And this is in fact a laser distance sensor navigation system or LDS. So when activated, this spins around really, really quickly and shoots a laser out in all directions at once, giving it an immediate sense of its surroundings, a quick 360 degree view at all times of where it is in your room. So models without this can map your room. However, they do it pretty slowly because they can only look forward at any one time. With the LDS here, it's able to immediately get a picture of everything and know exactly where it is in comparison to the rest of the room. Now that's not just technically impressive, it actually enables some really cool features. Now obviously this is limited to line of sight shooting out from this module on top, so if you have a chair in the way, it can't see past the chair. However, it is still an immediately pretty good indication of what your room is like, and as it moves around, it will perfect that view of the world. So because this mapping system is so accurate, and so reliable, it enables the main differentiating feature on this model, which is zoned cleaning. So with zoned cleaning, you can tell the Roborock to actually go clean a specific area in your house. And this hasn't been possible on any other robots that I've looked at until now. Using the simple interface on the app, you can drag and drop and then ask it to clean up to one, two, or three times if it's really messy. So this is great if you think it's missed a particular area or if it didn't have time to do your entire house and you wanna tell it to go back and do this specific room. Now, for many of you, I think this is gonna be the single biggest feature which really makes this robot worthwhile compared to other models. So also with the latest firmware update, you can now have that map save itself each time as a persistent map across usage. Now this is only going to work if you don't pick up and move the robot yourself. It must start and end on its base station having done a complete cleaning cycle. However, if you do use that feature, it means you can set no-go areas and virtual barriers in software alone. And while the zone cleaning is great, you can use it anytime for one-off cleaning to go tell it to do a specific place, the no-go areas and the virtual barriers might be a lot more useful for you because those are the ones which are gonna count when you say just go clean or when you ask it to go clean through Alexa, for instance. It will then remember where you don't want it to clean and it won't go there. So without that persistent mapping, you can still pick it up and put it on another floor of your house or into another room, for instance, and tell it to go from there. It'll rebuild a new map each time. And after it's rebuilt that map, you can tell it to do a specific area again with the zone cleaning feature. So apart from that, you have a wet mopping feature as the smaller model did as well. You can swap out the dust box, place in a water tank, and then place a mop on the bottom of the device. Now, how useful this is to you is going to depend on your individual circumstances. Ultimately, it is just like wetting a piece of cloth and dragging it along the floor. It's not a steam cleaner or anything, so it's not gonna get rid of those really persistent stains. So for me personally, it's not all that useful, but still, it's a nice feature to have available if you want. So the only slightly disappointing thing about the Roborock S50 for me is the size of the dust box. It's actually relatively small compared to some models I've seen. So this does mean that every time it's run, you are going to need to empty it out. And if you forget, if you leave it full, it's probably gonna be less effective on the next run. 
Now, while there are no notifications to actually tell you, hey, the dust box is full, go and empty it, you will get a notification through the app if you like to say it's finished cleaning, at which point you can remember, okay, I've got to go empty the dust box. So that's not so bad. Speaking of which, the app is one of the best I've come across for any robot vacuum. It's clean, it's modern, it's very well designed, and it's simple to use. The mapping features are very simple to understand, and the options are all easy to set. It has all the built-in features that you'd expect, like scheduled cleaning, as well as remote control from when you are outside of your home. In addition, I've now been able to test the Alexa control and it works as well as I'd expect. I say now because in my previous review, I wasn't actually able to test it yet. Because of GDPR restrictions, European users weren't able to access any of the Alexa functions. Just make sure when you're setting up the device and your app that you set them both to use Europe as the preferred server location. What this does mean is that if you are already using the Mi Home app and you have a number of other devices already set up, you may need to migrate them, set them up again on the European server if you want to use the Alexa control. So if you have a lot of Xiaomi devices already, that might get a bit annoying. So should you buy the Xiaomi Roborock S50? Well, if you live in an apartment or a bungalow somewhere with no stairs, with one level in your home, this is really a no-brainer. The features of virtual barriers, zoned cleaning, and no-go areas that you can set through software alone, I think will be incredibly useful for you. And it's one feature that really sets this apart from other models. While other devices can get the job done in a rather dumb way when they try to navigate the room, this will do it precisely, accurately, and open up a whole load of features. If, like me, however, you have a house with two or more floors, perhaps some random stairs in difficult places, perhaps some sunken rooms where you have to go down the steps to get into them, this is obviously going to be less useful. You won't be able to use the persistent mapping features, so you won't get no-go zones and virtual barriers. If you don't think you particularly need the extra power and you can't make use of persistent mapping features, then you're probably better off buying two or more of the cheaper models, which are a one half to two thirds the price of this. Anyway, I hope this review helped you to make an informed purchasing decision. If it did, please hit like and consider subscribing. We do two or three reviews and giveaways every week as well as the occasional tech tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching. You'll find the full review at the link in the description. And until next time. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Xiaomi have kindly provided us with another one of these to give away to one lucky reader. To be in with a chance of winning, click on the link in the description and head on over to read the full review. At the end of that, for the next three weeks, you'll find a giveaway widget. Just pop your details in there and you'll be in with a chance of winning. The video bonus code you're looking for to get bonus entries is clean my room, all one word. Type that in and you'll get some bonus entries in the competition to increase your chances of winning. Winners will be notified by email. Competition closes in about three weeks. Good luck and until next time, thanks for watching.